Custodian IP Transit service was originally engineered for customers needing connectivity out of their rack space but not wishing to pursue a, a sort of global tier one provider and the costs associated and the, the capacities that you would need to order in order to take such a service. Uh, we, we built it up around a number of tier one providers initially. Um, later on we appeared on LONAP, uh, the London Internet Exchange and the Amsterdam Exchanges in order to widen our, our peering connectivity for our customers. We focused on engineering capacity and diversity into the custodian IP transit network so that we could deliver high capacity services out of any of our POPs as well as absorbing very large denial of service attacks uh, and providing mitigation on them if, if the customer requires it. Um, our peerings now exceed approximately 950 direct adjacencies with other ASs, so we can give approximately 80 to 90 percent of the traffic that we receive from a customer directly to the other AS. So there are no long routes um, in, in, in delivering customer traffic to the remote locations. One of the main advantages of taking connectivity with Custodian is that by default you get a truly diverse dual port configuration uh, with unlimited bursting and the ability to take those two ports in different locations or different racks, something that you don't typically get with a tier one provider who will deliver a single service on one physical wire out of one geographic location. Uh, the bursting is a very popular element of the service, it enables customers to take the initial service at a predefined 10 meg for example, but if during the peak hours they need to burst, it's not a problem for our network to deliver that um, and they can change up or down the, the rate of the service at any point over the service life.